What's up? It's a cloud here. So you dropped your life savings into Bitcoin. And if you're like me, that $100 will go a long way. But what if you wake up one day and find out that that $100 is gone? That point zero 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 one Bitcoin is gone and nowhere to be found. And I bet you didn't just imagine that you bought Bitcoin like how I imagine I have friends. So where did that Bitcoin go? Well, looks like you've been hacked. Someone hacked into your account and stole all those precious little virtual cryptocurrency. Now, the likelihood of that happening is actually really small. Size doesn't matter, right? But peace of mind does. Why would you risk keeping your Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency on the exchange when you can store it in the safest way possible? Safer than a cow or a piece of steak in a vegetarian's house. I'm talking about a cold wallet something like the Ledger Nano S. I'm not sure why they call it a cold wallet. Maybe because if you carry this around, you'll be straight dripping. It's like a fashionable Tabagochi, but you probably shouldn't be carrying around your cold wallet anyway. In this video, if you haven't guessed it already, I would be a little worried, but I'll be showing you how to store your cryptocurrency in the best and safest way there is, which is to move it off of the exchange onto your little cold, cool wallet specifically the Nano Ledger S. Now this goes for almost any cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Cardano, Polkadot, etc. This little thing is so safe that you can burn it, lose it, drop it, give it to a friend, eat it, I don't care. As long as you follow the instructions in this video, your crypto will still be safe. With almost all cold wallets, there are both a public key and a private key. The public key is a random phrase of letters and numbers that you could show this to other people to send or retrieve money. Private key, on the other hand, is private. So don't share it, that's only for you. For the Nano Ledger S, the private key is actually a list of 24 unique phrases. It's a bunch of random words in a particular order. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in this video, but for now, let's go ahead and set up that Nano Ledger S. I realize I've been calling it Nano Ledger S and Ledger Nano S or S Nano Ledger. It's all the same thing, okay? Come on. But anyway, I'll be showing you footage that Ledger provided, not to me, it's on YouTube. I'll take you step by step how to set up the cold wallet and get your crypto safe. So obviously you wanna download and install the Ledger Live app, which is gonna be on your PC and phone, but let's do for the PC for now. You then open up your app, choose a theme and get started. Doesn't really matter, I chose dark because I like dark mode, looks cool. You then click on initialize a new device. You choose the Ledger Nano S or whichever one that you bought. Now you'll connect the actual Ledger Nano S or whichever one you bought to your computer. You'll then follow directions that show up on the Ledger like pressing left or right and going through the menu and their setup prompt. You click the left button to go left, the right button to go right, and you press both of them to confirm or enter or go through. Eventually, you're gonna choose a pin code. And what this pin code is, is gonna be an eight digit code that you'll need to put in your ledger every time you plug it into your computer. It's kinda like an iPhone passcode to get into your phone. It's one of the first safety steps. So you're just gonna go ahead and put in your eight digit code and you probably should remember this. You have to re-enter the pin to confirm it. And if you made a mistake, you just go ahead and press the X button or you, you get to the X icon and you confirm it by pressing both buttons to go back and re-enter the digit that you just put in. Now you'll go back to the Ledger Live app on your computer, click continue once you have your pin code down and now is gonna be the private key or those phrases that you're gonna have to write down and memorize. Now this part is really important. So Ledger provides, I believe, four different recovery sheets. It's literally just a piece of paper to write down your 24 words or your 24 phrases. So make sure that you you write down each phrase or word in the right order and you spell it correctly guys it's gonna show up on your ledger and you just go one by one and make sure you're following the order again gotta make sure you guys do that so you'll do that 24 times just go through the list take your time now and it's gonna ask you to confirm it again so you basically go through the 24 words again so about this private key or these 24 words or phrases basically if you lose your ledger like you physically lose it it gets burnt or something then you could use these words or phrases to get back access to your account. Of course, you're gonna have to buy a whole nother physical device and a whole nother physical nano ledger or cold wallet. Instead of choosing initialize a new device, you're gonna choose a different option, restore device from recovery phrases. And this is where you're gonna enter in your 24 phrases or words, and then you'll get access back to all the crypto that you own and that is stored on that cold wallet. So make sure you use all four recovery sheets and you put them in different places around the house, like in your sock drawer, in your mattress, on your ceiling fan, or like those cabinets above your fridge, because who uses those anyway? Basically, you wanna keep these sheets safe, and that means you shouldn't be putting them online. Don't be posting it to social media. I don't know why you do that. Don't even take a picture of it. You wanna keep this offline as much as possible, because 
you can't get hacked. You might be wondering, oh, Chase, what if this gets ruined like through a flood or a fire or something? Well, that's why there's something called the Crypto Steel or Crypto Tablet, where you can actually put in that 24 words or phrases into like a steel or more indestructible device than just a piece of paper. So hopefully that that won't melt unless you live in the volcano or like next to the sun then that should actually be a good place to keep it. So congratulations, you wrote down your recovery phrases. Now you're gonna hit continue and go into Ledger Live. Now you're gonna hit continue and complete the setup process. You just wanna answer a bunch of these questions. Pretty, They're pretty self-explanatory. Kindergartner could fill it out for you. Then you have the option to put a passcode on the Ledger Live app. This isn't too important, but again, it's another step, another line of safety, so why not do it? It's just to get access into the Ledger Live app in the first place, much like the pin code on the cold wallet or like an iPhone password. Click continue, then you go through these next questions because no one's gonna read that anyway, and you're done. That's pretty much the setup process. So now you need to create an account on your actual cold wallet for the crypto. And each crypto needs its own account. And in order to have an account, you're gonna have to download the app onto your cold wallet. So unfortunately, you can only have a limited number of cryptos or apps on your ledger, depending on which one you get. So for the Ledger Nano S, I believe I could hold like four of them. I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Stellar saved on my actual cold wallet. So if you don't have space for an app on the cold wallet, you can't store it offline or off the exchange. So if you're thinking about buying like 20 different cryptocurrencies, I'd recommend getting another cold wallet with more space to download the apps on. Or you could just buy like two Nano Ledger S's, like one for Bitcoin, one for Ethereum. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, but it's an option. So actually, I, I guess I do know why you do that. But anyway, to download the apps, you would go onto your Ledger Live app, so many apps, and you click on Manager on the left-hand side. You then will search for your app or cryptocurrency, and you download it. So you can see here that I have Bitcoin already installed, Ethereum, etc. So once all of your apps are downloaded, you can now create the wallet or account for that cryptocurrency. To do that, you go into accounts on the left hand side and you hit add account. You're then going to choose your crypto. So we'll use Dogecoin for example here. Go on to your actual ledger and you open the application, click add account and boom, it's added successfully. So now you can see that I have the account or the wallet downloaded or opened and it's ready to start receiving Dogecoin. I will say for Bitcoin, there's gonna be an option showing native SegWit or SegWit for the account, but just choose native SegWit as it's the cheaper one to use and it's the more common one, the recommended one. So once you've added all of your accounts onto the actual Ledger Live app, you're ready to start sending the money from the exchange onto your cold wallet. So to do that, you'd go on to receive on the Ledger Live app on the left hand side, Choose the cryptocurrency that you want to actually send or take offline. Follow the steps and then you're going to get your address or your wallet ID for that cryptocurrency. Now you want to make sure that matches on the Ledger Live app on your PC with the actual cold wallet itself. So take your time and make sure that's the same thing. You're going to copy the wallet address from the Ledger Live app and then you go to the exchange where we're actually going to start sending or withdrawing the crypto. So I'm using Kraken because that's my exchange. So your exchange should work somewhat similarly. Navigate to your cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. Click withdraw. Then it's going to ask for the address where this is where you're going to copy the address or the wallet ID, the wallet address from the Ledger Live app and you put it here onto your exchange. Again, you want to make sure that this thing is the exact same. Once you do that, you want to enter the amount of cryptocurrency for this example, Dogecoin, that you want to send over or take offline and put it onto your cold wallet. I would recommend sending over a little bit at a time, like you know, one Dogecoin or the minimum amount. So that way, if you did get it wrong for some reason, you didn't listen to what I just said and, and, and making sure that's the same thing on your Ledger Live app and on your exchange, then you lose everything that you just sent over. So that's why it's good to test it out with a small amount because it doesn't really matter if you lose just a little bit, but you don't want to send over everything at once. But hey, I mean, live your life how you want. If you are confident, then you could send over everything at one time. Save, save time, why not, right? Now after that, you just wait for your crypto to leave the exchange and it'll show up on the Ledger Live app. Just like that, it, it was that easy. Then you could go on to the portfolio tab on the left-hand side of the Ledger Live and just see how rich you are. Like you could, you could retire, that's it. So if you made it this far and you followed all the instructions in this video, then you too have a chastity belt around your crypto. So now, no one could f with it.